Oh, what's the most motive? I better place this one too. And, uh, add. And he already started. Danbury and Buster. Oh, good. He'll start up the um, New Haven line. Danbury and Brewster. Oh, boy. That's going to be some crazy mountainous track. All right. Cool. And even though I have this now connection, after I beat the game... Oh, Gold Rush. Nice. More pastures, I think. But after I beat the game... Oh, i got to buy more of my stock, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I cashed, I cashed out good, too, on that merger, so. There. Anyway, um, after I beat the game, I am going to build the O&W uh, Rowan Utica branch. Even though I'm already connected at Oneida, I'm crazy like that. I'm probably going to go from here and go down through the mountains here. Because that's what O&W did. And then I'll cross over here and go up north of Lake Oneida to Oswego. That's also, you know, O&W's route. This route here that I'm building towards Buffalo now is New York Central. But, you know, that's the goal, so that's what I got to do. <laughs> and uh, we're doing pretty good. Making good money. Uh, these two trains are kind of right next to each other, which is not uh, not good. Yeah. <laughs> I could have timed that better. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, and we're going to rename this Oneida Castle. Yeah, I know. have to be historically accurate. Oh, there's only one train doing this, isn't there? Let's copy that. Okay. And this one's going to start in Syracuse. Oh, there's nothing there. <laughs> now, sometimes... Maybe it's smarter to check it out first. So now that we're going to have trains sitting and waiting. Oh, well. Let's see. Well, most of the trains are running. We're making good money. I mean, look, I just spent three million taking that company over, and I'm already back up to almost two and a half. So, um, that's pretty good. Yeah. Still don't think we're going to make the, the uh, metal. Unless well, next year, I'll cheat. Maybe I'll cheat next year and go straight from Syracuse to Rochester. And then the next year, Rochester to Buffalo. Even though that's way too much track unless it decides to give me 500 instead of 275 for the last few years. But, um, yeah. I'm sure there were some years where I, when I didn't use as much track as I could have. It's hard to tell when the limits aren't actually there. But, um, yeah. It'd be nice to get bronze, huh? Are we paused? We're paused. Oh, that was smart. Uh, boy, I gotta replace my own Dorchester's here. Let's see, replace Dorchester. This is how you do a mass replace right here. And then you can say only the Dorchester's over 15. Oh, there's only one over 15. <laughs> so much for mass replace. But, um, some of the Dorchesters, though, are up in the mountains. Well, that's fine. Well, it should be the other color, but it doesn't matter. 275 again. Yeah, we're going to kind of cheat so that we can get a bronze. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Alright, actually what I'm going to do... Hmm, I mean, starting next year, I'll start the train from New York heading to start one from New York and one from Brooklyn because they're both count as Atlantic ports in New York State heading to Buffalo with the coffee. The coffee's the easy part. The rice is what's the pain. Alright, and no winter time track building problems and give me one sec, let me check my time here. Uh, 13 minutes. Let's, let's go up to uh, Rochester real quick. I mean, this track building is real easy. I mean, everything's just dead flat out here. You know, we made it through the mountains. So I guess it makes sense we can uh, build more track now because we're through the mountains. Whoa, am I on stone bridges? Holy crap. 
that's because I was messing around with this scenario a bit in um, sandbox sandbox mode where you don't have to worry about money or you know goals or anything you just build as much track as you want and run as many trains as you want from any time period you know it's just for fun and I was doing that because uh, I was, I was doing that because I was reskinning locomotives and then uh, checking out what they looked like. Yeah, I'm, I'm really cheating with this track building. Oh well. I want to get this bridge built now that I'm here though. Cause this is tricky right here. You can see this, there's like a waterfall here. And you got to build this, tra this bridge in the right spot or else it's a mess. Well, I guess that looks pretty good. I like to build the bridge up over... Well, no, actually I do build it like this, because if you go up here, then you got a ramp leading it. And this way, where it's deep like this, you can actually have a flat bridge, which is pretty rare in this game, unfortunately. Usually it makes you build some kind of crazy ramp back and forth. Okay. Alright. That was a lot of cheating, but, you know, what are you going to do? And, got a large station. Now I'm getting kind of tired of the Victorian-style stations. Let's go, uh, let's go Tudor just for the hell of it. And this town is so big, it doesn't matter where you put the station, you're not catching it. I mean, the only, even if you could put it on top of the river, you don't catch everything. So we're going to just put it right here so that it's not as close to that bridge. And it's too bad we missed out. Okay, there. And one maintenance facility in the middle. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't have to worry about the maintenance facilities messing up the track anymore because, look, dead flat. Dead flat. That's a nice little change of pace for this railroad. And uh, I probably actually need two water towers between Syracuse and Rochester, this is pretty long haul. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put one here-ish and one over here. Um, I always have that idea of, of uh, you know, having more water towers that way. I don't know if it really works out too good that way with the trains using them when they're closer to the towns, but I think it works out. Okay, we're going to run two trains between Syracuse and Rochester because those are two big towns, especially Rochester. One, two and four. We got the green. Yes, that one starts in Syracuse. And this one will start in Rochester. These make a fortune going back and forth. Look at that. Holy crap. 347. Oh, woman physician. That's good. They're smarter anyway. Alright. Somebody's buying the crap out of my stock, aren't they? I bet they are, because that guy that just cashed out big probably has a... Oh, Fisk has 50,000. I have 173, though. That's not too bad. Yeah, I know it's higher and I'm buying. I'm not a very smart stockbroker, but... I have a lot of purchasing power, so whatever. Um, I should actually buy up one of the other companies. Oh, here's this new one. I don't care about the New Haven Railroad, and I'm sure he went right across the mountain real bad. This one I could buy at 58, wow. Now this one, sometimes you have an AI that has a really good line, like this guy is going back and forth between Baltimore and Washington, two huge cities. You can't go wrong. Well, look at his stock. He, he's not doing too good. And then he connected to um, Elliott Mills, a small one, and then I think uh, somewhere else, Annapolis, I think, which is a bigger town. But he doesn't know how to make money with it. Sometimes the AI has a perfect railroad and that they just don't know how to make money with it, which is just silly. So, um, oh, just for the hell of it, I know I can't, but... Um, Let's see. Albany is connected. Yeah, look at that. 12 million. I knew he was doing pretty good. Yeah, and if I wanted to actually take it over, I would need 
over 19 million. That's not gonna happen ever. <laughs> and the stock, he's probably got all the stock bought out of that one anyway. Oh, cost of tunneling reduced. Nice. Good. Too bad I already built all my tunnels. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, according to yep, Vanderbilt 81,000. The Fisk, who doesn't like to go with mergers, apparently is at 40. I only have 8,000, so that's a lost cost. Oh, that's the New York Central. That's what we'll call that. Ooh, that's not good. All right, well, I think this is...